Hello all. So you may notice I'm at home plate. Um, I don't know Urena's coming. It's just that I spent my entire day building up home plate. Obviously, this isn't it. Um, and wanted to show you guys because it gets requested a lot on my channel, and it is an overwhelming area to to go for. So you can see you've got all of this space, and uh, this is actually my, I guess my main save, the, the save that you guys know with all the big settlements, and I tried to build here a little bit and just kind of gave up. Um, and then on my other save, because I was kind of going for a bit more of an RP, um, I decided to kind of give it a shot. Now before I show you what I've made, I'm really pleased, those of you on Twitter have already seen the tweets, um, and I'm quite chuffed um, with the end result. But one thing that's really, really important um, in home play is the fact is that it's for whatever reason, we try to theorize this on Twitter, but the lighting is a little off here. Um, if I play some bulbs down now, you're going to notice that things... Well, if I, I just don't have any bulbs left, do I? Do I have any lights left? It's fine, because I can just show you. If I move this down here like this, it's it's a lot brighter in home plate than it is um, in other places. And some people point out it kind of lights things a little wrong so you might struggle a little bit with having it satisfyingly lighted also um i have and initially this one was all purpley colored if i go to the misc tab here um i say i have loads of these um these lights here obviously the cycling lights and you can obviously you know change their color and all that jazz by tapping on them um until patch 1.5 there is still the error where those will stop shining, which means they'll still be the right colour, but they won't light up the surrounding area. Now, fortunately, that's not too much of an issue because in the next couple of weeks, um, for those of you who don't know, um, and I'll put a link, if I can find what I used, um, to actually what the bug fixes are, but um, alongside all the survival stuff, and also, by the way, robot vendors, we're finally getting robot vendors working, but this little fix has been kind of slipped in where basically these lights will light up properly um things like hangman's alley was never lighting up especially with these bulbs were never lighting up properly um so that'd be really good because even my current home plate the one on my other save which i'm gonna show you in a second does actually uh, these lights go off every now and then um and it's happened in sanctuary a few times as well um i think they do turn themselves back on but i find just removing them and just rewiring them again is the only way to kind of reliably solve it. Alright, let's go. I'm gonna load my other save and show you my home plate. Hope you enjoy it. I'll speak to you soon. So here we are. Um, I'm quite pleased. Let me just give you the tour of the whole thing. So here is my bar. Um, I'll explain because there's a quite a nice theory with... It, it works almost like a settlement to decorating a place like this because of the fact you have to kind of be a bit more creative with how you're placing everything. I've also turned all the radios, radios off, which is why it's deathly quiet. And I've got things I'm going to go through a bit, because there's, um, example, that little weapon rack there. I'm going to explain that because that is another YouTuber who showed me, well, not showed me, I watched their video last night. It was fucking awesome. Um, and I want to direct you to their channel. But this is it. I'm quite pleased with it. But as you can see, the lighting is pretty bright. This is where it really shows it off, is... Even here, it really is quite bright in home plates. Um, so be warned on that. So let's start in the bar. Now, when you're decorating somewhere like home plate, you've got to think in the same way as when you do a settlement, which is set pieces. You've got to, you can't just decorate it like a normal house. You've got to draw the eye. Um, I know I did do a decoration tutorial. Um, my, decor my decoration has developed and changed. Also with the fixes for the junk and stuff, junk just doesn't move anymore. Um, also, on my other junk tutorial, I think, to be honest, maybe even you don't even have to do anything as elaborate as I did. Um, home plate is the best place for junk decoration because you just have no settlers. And if you just do make sure your companion waits outside or just don't have a companion when you come in there, generally it's fine. And it quick saves before you go in anyway. So worst case, if they trash everything, you can just reload. So here's my bar. I'm going to, because this is um, my other save. So the one that I don't really show much on YouTube. Um, but I will show, and I'm showing it now. Um, so that's why it hasn't got much junk, because I'm going to kind of... This is actually my main character home. Like, Sanctuary is kind of their original home, but this is going to be their new main home. And 
I'm going to start slowly, so what I've started to do, and a really good idea is to start collecting things as you go, especially if you're starting a new save, this will be really fun for you, um, is, for example, I'm, like, things like the Distress Pulses from the Brotherhood of Steel quests, which, by the way, whenever you pick up anything of interest, check it doesn't go into the Junk tab, because a lot of things do, um, which is why how I used to lose all my Distress Pulses, kind of going to slowly start getting loads of clean plates and clean knives and forks. I'm going to have to do another Vault 81. Got the mechanist picture down there. I've turned off all the radios because I didn't want to get copyright striked. Um, you see, I've kind of tried to merge the lighting so it kind of blends into different areas. Um, also, a really cool thing is nuclear material um, glows. Whenever you've got anything like screws or antiseptic, anything that you break down, right, the raw resources actually look really cool as decorating materials. I haven't done it now, but for example, like if you go to screws and bolts, uh, screws and gears and springs, they're in little boxes and you could have like a little um, kind of workshop, which eventually I'm going to do, where I'm just going to have loads of screws so it really looks like I've got all the tools to craft stuff. This is my ode to the one true God in Todd we trust. Um, these are my bobbleheads. I haven't got many of them yet. Um, as you can see, like it's it completely transforms the air with the lighting. I do hope maybe we get a little patch to change because it is it is really bright. It won't be too much of an issue when these ones don't stop turning off because that way you can at least adjust the brightness. But it is quite difficult. You may notice what I've done in a really good way, generally, when you're lighting the insides, is tactical use of the spotlights. Generally, the single ones are a lot easier. You see, I've got, if you look up, I've got them pointing all over the place, kind of highlighting certain areas. This is my comic book reading room area, um, and it just looks, it looks quite cool. I haven't got many of the comics as well, so I'm going to have more racks. Um, so that's my little kind of say social area. I was gonna have a pool table, but to us it takes up so much room in somewhere like home plate, it just doesn't really work. Oh, the good thing is as well, is you can glitch things. Um, like to us, I could even move that closer, but you can literally just use the rug glitch to just bury things in the walls in home plate and it won't matter. Um, in terms of like, they won't be sticking out the other side because obviously it's this own separate instanced area. Um, also the much like uh, the mechanist layer and uh, the airport, you only have a limited number of things. So you can't build any anything bar the totems if you wanted a serial killer house uh, from the structures tab. You can build pretty much all of the furniture. Decoration wise, think most things. Um, no statues though. Power wise, pretty much everything. You can't have a settlement recruitment beacon. I am going to have a contamin contamination arch in here at some point, but I can't be asked. No powered doors. Um, we can finally have the crafting materials, which is what makes this a viable uh, player base. Um, we, annoyingly, we can't have the cages, and we can't trans... I, I don't think we can, but we can't transfer cats and things, because I was hoping to have a kitty cat in here. Um, and also, you can't send people here, which is annoying, because I was kind of hoping I could have... Let me show you dog beats at Larry here got dog meat because he's a hot dog um and that is from if no spoilers but maybe you want to go to boston common yeah it's a very safe area go go to boston common don't bring any big guns there's a dog meat there and annoyingly i can't have him hanging out here so generally it means he's he's hanging out in sanctuary but when he's here he sleeps there here's my little chems area that's where the chems are again just the idea of like set piece like every area has a theme right let me show you this oh one of them's fallen off okay one of them's falling off it was that the overseer guardian doesn't work um but basically most of the guns do work really well with the exception of the overseer's guardian because of the shape of the front now i'm not going to show you how to do this but there is a youtuber called real time commanders run by craig who really did uploaded a video yesterday it was fantastic for making weapon racks now i have deliberately just unloaded the guns I was happened to be carrying at the time but he kind of shows you quite a nice little armory setup with like putting loads of submachine guns and I think it was the sniper rifles so link in the description there'll be a pop-up annotation as well go check it out because it is really simple to do um you basically use the axis angle changing thing but just just go go check it out um because the guy does do some quite 
funky little videos. Um, this is my armor area where we suit up. Again, see, now look at the brightness here. It's so, so bright, but I'm, I'm, it took me a while. This is why I actually spent the most time with this area is actually getting it. And I've tried to change it a little bit. So this is the more kind of warmer area. Got a bit more party time. It is eerily quiet without the radios on. Um, home plate does have a really grumbly background. Possibly can't hear it, um, but normally it's quite grumbly, but fortunately for some reason it seems to have stopped. It might be because I've turned all my radios off. I don't know. As you can see, and then it gets a bit more bright here, but I've deliberately left shadowed areas so that way the writing stands out a lot more. And then obviously I've got my, my lamps and then all my queens. And also, look, see, picking up random little things. That is pieces of a mini nuke, which you can find, which I'm not going to tell you where because I can't remember. But yes, I hope this gives you guys some ideas of what you could do with your home plate. Um, I'm really chuffed with how this turned out, which is why I wanted to show you because I was, I was initially just going to tweet a video. But I was like, no, this is cool. I want to show you everything. I'm very pleased by that very very pleased so yes guys um i will promise to do the arena from now on uh because it's the next thing i do want to build it's just i kind of on a tangent decided to do home plate this is my teddy and also this is the um the hollow tape you get from your wife the one she gives you hi honey because i thought it was quite sweet oh and this is my cooking area as well this is where i cook okay yeah so um i will have the arena i'll start on it tonight and then do more on it tomorrow so that way it'll be nice and a good time the, the day afterwards um, as always, follow me on Twitter. Give Craig at Real Time Commander some love because he that is a fucking awesome technique that I fucked up. <laughs> but it looks really cool. Um, and my advice is make sure it's an area where your settlers never go. So in your character's house with your powered door closed because if they bump into it... Actually, let's ruin it for a second. See? Fucking ruin everything. So don't do that. But they do not fly around. As long as you don't smash into them, they're fine. But... Right, yeah, so um, follow me on Twitter, at no respawns, and I will talk to you lovely people soon. Take care.